Today on Newsbreak, we'll take a look at the boys' soccer tournament in Ames. We also take a look at results from the solo ensembles contest at Orange City on Saturday. All this and more on this Monday, April 4th, 2016. Good afternoon, SHS. I'm Tyler Jennings. And I'm Eric Hines. Now let's look at your top stories for today. 75 local music students participated in the state solo small ensemble contest in Orange City on Saturday. 44 entries participated and received we received 25 Division I superior ratings, 17 Division II excellent ratings, and two Division Good ratings, Division Threes. Lauren Wickham was selected as the outstanding performance of the day. Noelle Yost received a perfect score as well. There were seven entries that received a score of one point away from a perfect score. Soloists were Lauren Wickham, Lauren Sanderson, Anna Ashman, Nate Walsh, Tyler Jennings for ensembles. The duet was Lauren Sanderson and Noelle Yost, and the girls' trio was Noelle Yost, Lauren Laven, and Cameron Shetta. Band members received 10 Division I ratings and 9 Division II ratings. Also, Brittany Lendy and Lauren Laban both received perfect scores on their solos and also received a perfect score on their saxophone duet. A change to the FCA meeting that was originally scheduled for tomorrow is postponed until April 14th. Caps, gowns, and graduation announcements will be distributed Friday during advisory time in the Commons. All seniors, please plan to pick them up. If you are interested in trying out for Color Guard, there will be a clinic on April 12th, 13th, and 14th from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the West Gym. Tryouts are April 15th at 7 a.m. Attendance at the clinic and tryouts is mandatory to be considered for Color Guard. Dress comfortably. And finally, happy birthday to Haley Welding. So, Jacob, what's the weather like out there today? Very warm yesterday. Record-breaking heat, actually. And, uh... We've dropped about well, 20, 25 yeah. degrees today, but the winds aren't as bad, so that kind of makes it feel a little bit warmer out there for all those activities, some of the first games coming up tonight. And uh, so we'll continue with that trend kind of up and down throughout the week. It's very spring-like out there. Well, let's go take a look first at the record high from yesterday. It was uh, 74 degrees out there. The old record was 72 set back in 2005. And as we look around the area, 74 in Spirit Lake, 78 in Sac City down there, 82 in Sioux City. That was close to record high there, 78 in Sioux Falls. Very warm across the area. A lot cooler out there today, 46 degrees at 4 o'clock, 42 by 8 o'clock tonight, feeling like 36 degrees, but you notice those winds are pretty light out there, and those will continue throughout the day. And they'll pick up overnight, 33 degrees for the low tonight. And then as we go into the seven-day forecast, you're going to see that we do pick those winds right back up for tomorrow. A slight chance of scattered rain showers. It'll be scattered throughout the day. That'll continue into Wednesday morning, and then we'll dry it out for the rest of the week. 42 on Friday. More windy conditions coming for the weekend, but looking very nice for the week with highs in the 60s, but for now, back to you guys. Taking a look at your sports for today, the SLPO boys soccer team was in Windy Ames, Iowa on Saturday for their annual tournament. They played Grinnell in the first game. The game would be scoreless in the first half. SLPO would have the win in the second half, and senior Jake Dodge would score two goals to put SLPO over the edge, winning 2-0. to zero. The team took on number six ranked Class 3A team from Cedar Rapids Prairie next. Prairie would score in the first half, but SLPO would equal, equalize with five minutes left in the first half. The game would go into double overtime before Prairie scored the winning goal, defeating SLPO 2-1. to one. There is a busy week of spring sports coming up. The boys track team is competing today at SDSU for their last indoor meet. Both the boys and girls track teams will be starting their outdoor season tomorrow at Northwestern. The boys and girls JV and varsity soccer teams will kick off their regular season today against Spencer. The girls will be away at Spencer and the boys will be at home, both starting at 5. Girls JV and Varsity Golf will be competing at Okoboji View Golf Course today against Jackson starting at 4.30. We will have full coverage on our show, Twitter, and our website at www.spearlakejournalism.weebly.com. That is a look at your sports for today. Back to you guys. So the busyness begins with all of the full schedules. Spring sports. There's track meet at SDSU today. There is also a soccer meet or soccer game. Sorry, here in Spirit Lake and in Spencer. There is also a track meet tomorrow for girls and boys. Thursday for boys and for girls Friday. Both in Cherokee. Those last two days of the week. So. And there's nice. golf also. Golf also. There's just a million yes. things. Going on. There was a soccer. There was a tournament in Ames. And how yeah. did that go? That went very very well. Um, almost upset the number six team in class 3A, so um, looking very impressive. Very impressive music as well. Yeah. A lot of Division one ratings. Yeah, you can check those all out on our website as well. And looking at the weather, it's going to be a little bit colder out there today, a lot colder really, but as we go into the rest of the week, you're going to notice some windy conditions return, and we'll be back into the 60s by this weekend, so looking pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. 
Well, that's all the time here for today. Thanks for watching Newsbreak. Have a great day.